You had the experience to work with Guillermo del Toro, and he got all the Oscars last night or whatever. He did. How, do you, how does it feel to... It feels wonderful to see Guillermo, you know. We, I've always known he was a genius, but to see other people knowing that as well. I love The Shape of Water, and since I first saw it, I feel that, you know, he's talked about it being a very personal project, so I'm so, so happy for him and the whole of the creative team. It, what brought you back to Pacific Rim? I mean, the first one was awesome. Sure. All these effects, you pray Dr. Gottlieb. God yeah. Tell us a, a little about the evolution of the character and... When I first, uh, you know, got involved in the world, it was something which I was excited about because it was a new, it was a new world. It was a new creation, a new universe. And um, it's always nice to do that. There's not, you know, original ideas um, are not few and far between, but something that was so established by Guillermo and Travis and the rest of the team. It was great to be able to come back to that universe and to play in that sandbox again. Uh, considering that you're a uh, you know a uh, veteran actor, I don't mean old. I mean experienced. Oh sure, yeah. Uh, you mean old? <laughs> no, well, no, really. <laughs> what? No. That's no, fine. No, no, no really. Veter no experienced. Oh, no. Uh, so uh, uh, dealing with all this technology gets in the narrative of who you're playing or not. Yeah. Or you rather do you do theater? I mean, if you can compare a little yeah. this mega mega special effects movie with something more uh, grounded. It, if yeah, you I think Guy. I think the first uh, Yermo in the first film had a very clear idea about the character. Gave me a backstory. Had a definite idea about how the character should be played. And Stephen continued with, with that in um, having a very sort of collaborative process on set. He's very um, disciplined and calm, and it was a real, real joy to work on the set, which felt like we were all in this together. The younger members of the cast also brought a load of energy to it, and it just felt very sort of exciting, and I was very happy to be back playing this, you know, eccentric but interesting character. Eccentric? Uh, are you a little like the uh, Dr. Godley or not? I, I couldn't <laughs> possibly say. You'd have to ask my family. But um, no, I mean, he's, he's got bodily odor problems and he, he, he doesn't uh, have much else outside work. Um, but I admire him. I admire the fact that he obsesses about finding a solution. And also, I feel like we should celebrate anyone who is trying to push things forward in the in the world of science. Is it easy to find a humanity in a in a person who is dedicated 24/7 uh, to science? I wish I was as dedicated as Gottlieb. I feel like um, I've got great admiration for people like that. And it's very interesting as an actor to play somebody who's completely obsessed. Last question. I love the yes, T-shirt. So. What's going on? Can I have it? I, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> After I'm... the junket. <laughs> <laughs> I, I play music, so uh, it just means, you know. It's very cool. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Thank you man. very much.